Hi, students and families. This is Mr. Conahan. Um, I'm going to go through uh, a couple things here, just some things that I'm starting to notice. Um, uh, so I want to see if I can help out with maybe a little bit of routine or just some clarification. Some of this, actually almost all of this is things that I've already talked about, um, but sometimes the more we deal with them, the more like the context makes sense. So I'm just going to go through a few things, um, including logging in, knowing where to look for what the work is. I go through what work we need to do um, each day when it gets assigned, um, but it's also in the landing page of much place. So I just want to show you where to look for some of those things and see if that helps out a little bit here. So I'm in Genius. I'm going to go ahead and log in. And this might just be a good routine for everybody to get into. So I logged into Genius. At this point, I am now, I have attended school for today. So I've, I've done that. Now, the next thing here is I do need to get to my class. Uh, Today just happens to be an A day, uh, which that particular group starts with literacy. So I'm going to go find literacy for 3A or 2A. There we go. Awesome. I'm going to launch. There we go. Now, at this point, it's just going to take me into buzz. It didn't really matter which one I, I went into, but I just wanted to find that. So now I'm going to go find literacy for 2A for today. Obviously, you go to whatever class is yours. Here we go. Um, I could check my grade book at this point right here. So I could look there or I could just go into the class. The grade book will give me some indication of what work I need to do. Um, now that I'm in here, though, um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click for attendance because I want to make sure that I get my attendance in for my class. Here we go. I'm going to go. I'm going to click my name. I'm going to click literacy. Boom. Submit. Done. Good to go. Um, on my browser, I actually bookmarked this page just so I don't even have to go through that step. I can just click it, enter my info, and I'm done. All right. So then... Uh, a couple other things here then. You can then, again, you can hit the grade book and this will give you some indication of what work is out there and needs to be done. Um, but if you go down, and this is the area I really want to promote here and push, um, I'm going to have all of the lessons are always going to be up here as uh, Google Slides. You can always take a look at them, whether you miss it or need a refresher. Our learning targets for the week, that's all in there. This will show what we're going to do in class, but the Wednesday here, this is the big one. This is the day, the asynchronous day or the independent learning day, this is the day with the, a lot of the tasks that need to get done. So when you get logged in, anytime you're wondering, hey, what is it that I need to do? Come look here. It's right here. I'll always have it in my slides too, but it's right here. Um, so for literacy this week, I asked everybody to do um, in Buzz, there was a Story Mountain video. There was a uh, ride along video that went with that one. And then this one here was really the big one. This is the one that we practiced in class uh, there's a notebook page that every student has, a digital notebook page. Um, and then that just had to get done. Didn't have to get turned in. So this is part of the reason I'm doing this video is I noticed a lot of people did not get this done. So um, that's why I'm I'm noting this just because uh, I don't know if just maybe it wasn't understood or what. So I'll keep trying to figure out the best ways to communicate it. But it, it was right here and it was in the slides too. Then these other days, we'll just talk about what we do. Um, so anyway, and then you could scroll down um, and then hmm, I'm not sure why the lessons aren't showing up. I'll have to look for that. But the lessons are always uh, down there in the links. Oh, here we go. Right down here. Yeah. So students can come down here and um, find everything as well. So like here's the dates for this week. These are the two slide lessons. Um, this is just some more reteaching. This is the work. That was mentioned up top. It was the independent work, the Story Mountain video, the write along video, and here's that Story Mountain assignment. Uh, these are expected to be done. So I know one of the big pieces of feedback we had from the spring was people wanted students doing more, and that's, and we do too. So it is really important that we do these things, especially like a lot of the work that we do really is about a process, especially in literacy. So really, we don't want to get behind in the process or it really backs things up. So um, for students as well, their virtual writing notebook, there's another way they can get at it here too. It's in here, but it's there as well. So um, that's one thing I wanted to point out. Um, again, if you ever want to figure out what work may be missing, um, you can click here in the grade book. Uh, another way you can go is back on the dashboard here. Um, there's a to-do list. And if you click on the to-do list, it will give you a rundown of everything that is assigned. And of course, it's going very slow right now. There we go. All right. Um, so if you look in here, this will say these are all the different things that this uh, test student needs to do. Now, keep in mind, this is taking like every class that fifth graders have. So this is a little misleading. Um, but here's a couple of the assignments that were um, mentioned for my class. In fact, you can even see them 
in here, the watch and respond. So if this is on the to-do list, this means this is something that needs to get done. If it's past due, um, interesting due dates here. If it's past due, um, it will let you know that. Okay, it will tell you that. I think the most recent assignments are, yep, the most recent assignments are on the bottom. The oldest assignments are on the top. There's clearly some date issues up top there. Um, so if we were to just look at, let me jump back up here real quick, see if I can find stream on video. Okay, I know my last stuff that I set, I set due to Friday, so. There we go, Story Mountain. So this is one of the big ones I was talking about. So um, I'll take it from the other class, 3B. So if I see this here and it says it's due tomorrow, I can click on it. I can go take a look. It's gonna tell me all the information of what I need to do. There's even a link here. Uh, gives me some more instruction. Really important that we read the instruction. We're trying to minimize the, the instruction in here, but it is important that it gets read, otherwise mistakes get made. Um, so these are just a few ways to go to figure out all that needs to get done. Uh, just trying to help as much as possible. So one other thing you can do, I'm going to go back to courses here. If you're ever wondering um, where you're at in some of these classes, so let me go back down to literacy again. Here we go. Um, I can, again, I can click on my grade book and I can go look and see everything that's been assigned. Um, usually there is a due date next to it that tells me if it's done or not. So in this example, the Story Mountain activity, uh, which I'm just checking in notebooks, but um, it's due tomorrow. And as I'm looking, although it really should have been done on Wednesday, but anyway, the if there's nothing here, that means I haven't scored it or it's not turned in yet. So it's one of those two. This one turned in, I just need to uh, assign it. Apparently I gave myself a zero on that one. <laughs> um, let's see here, what else here? A couple others here, yep. Uh, different due dates and things like that. So this just gives you some opportunity to take a look at where are you at and what do you need to get done. If there's something that's not done um, and you see it's empty, you can click on it. It will bring up that lesson. Um, and at least in my classes, I do put down what um, standard that I'm assessing to. So it gives you some idea what's my emphasis here. And then you can also click on the assignment and it'll pop it right back up again. So uh, so those are the things that um, you will see in there. Um, if there is confusion, I would always suggest um, requesting some win time. We're still trying to structure the best way to do win. Right now we're doing it really much by our, our uh, advisory groups. We're trying to find some ways that we can break that out so that students will always have options for either Ms. Hilbert or myself. So um, we're, we're still plugging away at that, trying to figure that out. So anyway, uh, I hope this helps a little bit, just gives you one more look at it, gives you some, um, some idea. If you're ever unsure where you're at and if you need some more help with any of this, please email me and let me know. Um, what I want to try to avoid is, uh, um, people getting really far behind. So, and I'll certainly communicate that as well too. Uh, I think right now a lot of it is people just aren't entirely sure where to go. So I'm just going to keep hitting that as much as I can, and we'll see if that helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, everybody. Keep plugging away. We'll get it.